Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in the Republic of Namibia recently launched a youth empowerment program in response to the crisis of youth unemployment in the country. The program was launched during this past weekend and it saw some 30 beneficiaries from Kalkfield, Rehoboth uh, and Kalkrand uh, benefiting from the program which is aimed at uh, supporting youth agri-enterprises as well as awarding scholarships for vocational training and the establishment of local youth resource centers. Now with more on the program we're joined by Uhuru Dempers who is the director of, of the desk uh, for social development in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in the Republic of Namibia. Uh, Uhuru Dempers, quite a mouthful there. Very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, good morning and uh, thanks so much for having me. Firstly, of course, a very interesting initiative uh, here by the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Talk to us about how this program came about and, you know, its overall objectives here. Yeah. Yes, uh, the, the churches in Namibia in general has been part of the struggle for independence and of course after independence have also joined the project of reconstruction and, and development and has been focusing on uh, poverty eradication projects and the whole social justice uh, struggles around land reform, um, the basic income grant campaign and others. Mm -hmm. But we realize that the crisis of youth uh, lack of opportunities and the crisis of youth unemployment is really uh, becoming a serious challenge, especially yeah. when we mobilized uh, around 200 youth uh, during the COVID period to assist with the response as the church. Mm -hmm. We realized that uh, this most of these youth that we're using in this response was unemployed. And therefore, we decided to engage in a process to design a program that can really respond to that to complement government and efforts of uh, efforts of government and other stakeholders. So uh, last year we had a youth in Daba on mm -hmm. the 23rd of November where we tested some of these ideas uh, with, the, with the youth and then we, we decided to pilot this in, a, in, a, in three towns initially, yeah. Kalkrand, uh, Kalkfeld and, and Rearport and um, the, the past week we were giving initial training to this group so that they can now start uh, youth agribusinesses as, as part of our response to the crisis of youth unemployment in the country. I, I must commend, you know, yourself and the church for this very important undertaking. It's not every day that you see, you know, institutions of your nature play such a proactive and active role uh, in, of course, addressing some of the plights of the country. Uh, I want to gauge you on, you know, uh, the criteria for the selection of these youth. You've mentioned, of course, uh, unemployment being uh, perhaps one of those requirements. But what are some of the other uh, aspects that you look at in terms of uh, recruiting these people here? Yeah. Well, the, 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 the towns that we have selected uh, uh, are somehow, especially uh, Kalkrand and Kalkfeld, uh, we've, uh, in our work in other projects uh, throughout the years, we have realized that these two towns are really neglected, both mm -hmm. by government, uh, civil society, uh, private sector, and so on. So it was... Uh, really uh, not difficult for us to select those two towns. Mm -hmm. Rehoboth we are selecting also because the, our offices and our operations are based in Rehoboth, but it's also uh, a, a crisis of youth unemployment. And when you see crimes and, and all drug abuse and so on being reported all over, Rehoboth is always yeah. amongst, amongst those ones. And there has been some responses but so uh, selecting the, the towns have not been a, has, has not been really a challenge. A challenge yeah. Of course, there are also other towns, and this is just a pilot site. And then we had a series of workshops mm -hmm. with the with the youth, and we have, we had asked the youth to uh, uh, those that are willing to uh, participate in, in in these projects uh, to to indicate willingness and so on, and that's how. We have ended up with the with the with the ten youth from each of the, each of the each of the towns. So yeah. um, uh, it's it's just really to 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 pilot. And once we have good lessons from this pilot, 
uh, we are um, uh, planning to expand this to the to the rest of the country as much as the resources available permits us to do so. Fantastic. Uh, Uhuru, of course, you have mentioned that this, this initiative looks to support, you know, youth agri-enterprises, um, as well as, you know, the awarding of scholarships for vocational training uh, and the establishment of local youth resource centers. Uh, just talk to us about what this practically means. Uh, what kind of support, what kind of courses, what kind of undertakings uh, will this youth be exposed to here? Yes, uh, as you have mentioned, the... the Youth Empowerment Program that was uh, launched uh, last Friday uh, by the Honorable uh, Emma Kandema Kaumas and our Bishop, Bishop Sakhias Type really has three components. One is looking at supporting youth enterprises. Uh, so this could be this could be in all all kinds of initiatives that the youth comes up, yeah. mobilizing resources to to support that. We know that the youth struggles with credit. Uh, so we are, we, are, we are trying to see how we can support uh, with some, some grants, but yeah. also link them to some way they can get some credit facilities and so on. We, we, they, for the pilot phase, we are focusing on the, on the agribusiness. Mm -hmm. So we, and we are looking at horticulture and, uh, and um, poultry. So uh, what we have done last week is to partner with the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform, especially from the Harta Regional Council. Yeah. They, have, they have sent out three facilitators that were training this youth uh, last week. And now after the training, they also received uh, during the launch their certificates. And uh, starting already this week, we are going to, they have uh, in the report, they were lucky to get a donation of uh, of land from the Rearport Town Council, a one hectare uh, plot. They were given to start this project nice. in uh, in Calgran. The Lutheran Church donated a piece of land for them where they can start this project. In Calfeld, we are still looking at, at various options. So they are going to we are going to help them with fencing materials and and equipment, gardening equipment to start. They are also going to identify 10 youth that will receive uh, scholarships for, for vocational training. Mm -hmm. And we are also supporting them to start local resource uh, centers. It could be at a church, it could be at a community center, wherever they get some room yeah. so that we can uh, send them newspapers, materials. Uh, uh, um, later on, we are planning to establish some internet case for them to access information. Fantastic. We will put uh, learners' uh, books for them to study to get driver's licenses and, and all kinds of people. Whoever has information wow. for the youth can go and drop at this resource centers. And we are hoping that this will expand in terms of the kinds of services. Also, not forgetting entertainment and in, uh, education yes. uh, opportunities for the, for the youth. So we are, we are really excited and looking forward. And we have also other partners that, are, that, are, that, are, that, are, that have expressed willingness to join us. And we hope that we will get commitment from the youth and that the pilots will be successful. Very much indeed. Uhuru. Very exciting stuff, I must say there. Uh, just lastly, as we talk about you know, the sustainability and long-term long outlook you know, of this program, uh, please talk to us about that. And as you rightfully put it, you know, what kind of support do you need at this point in time? You've mentioned stakeholders are, of course, have shown um, keen interest. What kind of support does the program need from this point forward uh, following the pilot phase here? Yes, uh, we, we are thankful that this uh, pilot phase has been largely made uh, possible by uh, support that we have received from the Lutheran World Federation, from the Communion Office in, in Geneva, uh, and also from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in, in America. Uh, so they, they have given us initial funds to, to, to kickstart this. We, as I have said, we are partnering with the Ministry of Agriculture, yeah. and there is a subsidy program around agribusiness, especially poultry and horticulture. So yeah. we are also partnering with the ministry to uh, pay for the youth, the, the contribution, and then the subsidy from the ministry. We've also reached out to the uh, World Food Program. We have had engagements with them mm -hmm. to seek for, for support, and we will be engaging state-owned enterprises and, and, and others to, to come on board and, and, and support this initiative. 
We are looking at um, land that is lying idle in, in various places to, 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 to put it to good, good use. Um, we, I must also mention that another sister organization of the church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church, Aids and Wellness Program, LCAP, is also has also started a pilot in Omitara, in Dortapes, and in Khrot Oak. In Dortapes, for example, I understand that the cooperative there has donated some land to the youth uh, so that they can they can start with, with this initiative. So I, I, I believe that if different stakeholders come together and pool their resources, the sustainability of these initiatives should, should really uh, not be a challenge. And we are really looking at uh, b a b businesses for these initiatives to be run yeah. as businesses so that the youth can really and get income, employ themselves, but also later on expand and employ other youth. And uh, in, in this way, we can really expand. The Ministry of Youth, uh, Sports, Youth and National Service also mm -hmm. pledged on Friday that they will come on board and, and support and that we can join in the other initiatives that are, that are ongoing. So Fantastic. we are really excited and would like to invite more, more stakeholders to, to join us. Uru Demposha, I wish you all the best, you and the team, of course, behind this wonderful initiative. Thank you so much for sharing with us this morning. All the best with what you're doing, and we can't wait to see the impact of it. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. There you have it, Uhuru Dempers, the director for the desk uh, for social development at the Evangelical Lutheran Church in the Republic of Namibia. Of course, is talking to us there about the Youth Empowerment Program. It is an initiative aimed at addressing, uh, that is, the youth unemployment rate in the country. Uh, they have, of course, selected 10 youth, each from Kalkfeld, uh, Kalkarand, and Rehoboth, uh, just supporting them in various manners, uh, from training uh, to, of course, uh, developing their existing businesses, but also getting them involved um, in businesses, etc. Of course, I think it's a wonderful in initiative. And if you're finding yourself in those parts of the country, you can, of course, further aid um, this initiative and see how we can address youth unemployment together.